Welcome to Vestals. I'm Vita and I'm 63 years old. Today, I will tell you how I lost weight when I was 60. I had a beautiful celebration for my 60th birthday. My husband invited for me friends and family from Croatia and we had a big celebration in Indonesia, in Borobudur, Java Island. It was just beautiful. I was happy with my life. And then we came back to Xi'an, to China, where we live, and we were watching photos and videos. And then I asked my husband, do you think that we are a little bit overweight on those photos? And he said, no, Vita, it is normal. You are 60 plus now. At that time, he was 66. And this is normal that we are not thin anymore. I said, yes, 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 you are right. You are right, yes, this is normal. Three months later, we had our early health check uh, at uh, our university. We have a hospital there and uh, after the uh, results uh, came out, uh, the doctor called us and uh, she told me, Vita, you must lose weight because uh, this will influence your health. Uh, your results are not that good as it was before. So you must change your life habits. Otherwise you will have problems. Then I came home and I told my husband, what the doctor said to me and he said oh, she said the same thing to me they they must say this this is their job to tell you this and again i asked him what do you think are we too fat and he said vita i told you this is normal i said yes 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 you are right this is normal but i started to think about this problem when I was young, I had problems with being overweight and I made my first big transformation at the Academy of Dramatic Arts when my professor Zlatko Borek told me how to change and how I can become the best version of myself. I did it. And from 24 to around 40, I was satisfied with my appearance and with my weight of course, except for pregnancy. After I was 40 years old, every year I gained a kilo or two, and lately I entered premenopause and menopause, and I was not able to control my weight anymore. And uh, I gave up. I thought it must be like this. I was not very happy. I didn't feel good, but it was normal. And then when doctor told us that we must lose weight and uh, I started to think about this and I really wanted to do something, but I didn't know how to start. And uh, the only idea I had was to stop eating. And I decided I will stop eating. <laughs> and this was, of course, terrible. I didn't have energy and my life was miserable. It was terrible. And I realized this is not the way how I can solve the problem. As here in China, we have a lot of WeChat groups where we can communicate with the people from different countries and I send a message in one women group, a women's group and ask is there anybody who can help me? I said my what my problem was and if somebody can help me please contact me. Luckily my future tra trainer powered by Gaga sent me a message and this was the crucial moment in the process of change. And Gaga, my future trainer, and I started to talk. She asked me so many questions. The first question was about my diet. At that time, my husband and I, we ate in restaurants 
only. In our kitchen, we had nothing, no equipment at all. And she asked me about my activities. I walked every day, but I didn't want to work out. And she told me, you must change your habits because if you want to reshape your body, you must start to work out. This is the second thing. The third thing was she asked me to measure myself and send her. So she, she analyzed all my measures and she analyzed my diet, what I was eating at that time. I bought a scale and also I bought some uh, uh, simple equipment for my future gym because I didn't want to go to gym uh, with young people and uh, uh, she told me to buy dumbbells and bands and this was a great idea because during the lockdown we had our own gym which was perfect and uh, uh, she told me that uh, my diet is full of carbs and oils and not enough proteins and uh, she told me I must start to eat at home as kitchen was not my happy place I asked my husband to start to cook for me and he said okay I will do it for you but I will not join you in gym I do not want to work out I said okay just be in the kitchen and prepare food which my trainer will send you every day and we started to work as a team together maybe you will think it is weird that at the age of 60 I was unaware that if you eat in restaurants, you cannot control what you eat. But honestly, I, I was not thinking about this. So when I started to eat this new food, which my husband cooked and my trainer prepared for me, it was, I was not hungry. I cannot say I was hungry. I was full, but my body didn't recognize this food. It was something was <laughs> strange in my body. But after only 10 days, I felt much better. And this new diet was completely okay for me. At that time, uh, I was working out three times a week for only 30 minutes. Every week, my trainer sent me my exercises and even those exercises were really simple. My face was red like tomato. It was so difficult for me, but I really decided with support of my husband and my trainer, I really decided to resist. After two weeks, I discovered first results. After one month, I measured myself again. And this was the turning point in the process. Results were perfect. And this became my biggest motivation. Nothing was difficult anymore. And I knew from that very day, my life had changed forever. It took me six months from the day I decided to change until I lost 12 kilos. During this period of time, my husband lost eight kilos only cooking for me. But after seven months, he decided to join me in our gym and he started to work out. We convinced our daughter to change her bad eating habits and to start to work out. So after three years, I have uh, 16 kilos less, he has 15 kilos less, and our health results are just perfect. He is 69, now I'm 63, but the doctor just cannot believe that this happened. And what is the biggest miracle? Our kitchen is fully equipped and my husband became the best cook in the world. Every day he invents something new and uh, 
lunch and breakfast and the food and our eating habits completely changed our communication and also our values. I do not understand what blocked me from starting earlier. Why did I believe in lies that it is impossible to change life after 60? Let me explain the process. Even though I have been taught the process of learning for many years, and you can check it on Vestos in English and Croatian language, I didn't apply it in my life. Do not ask me why. What do I teach my students? First, accept you have a problem. Second, analyze your starting point. Third, make a plan how to solve the problem. Four, find a trainer, teacher, partner, somebody who has already passed this way and who can help you and support you on this way. Fifth, persist. So, I didn't want to accept I have a problem and I didn't believe I can solve it. When I finally accepted I had a problem, and when I changed here, started to believe I really can do something about this, the process started. Of course, with support of my team, my husband and my trainer, who is still with me, my husband and my daughter after three years. Please do not believe in shortcuts. They are not shortcuts. Do not believe when people tell you you only need to take this pill or drink this tea and you will lose 20 kilos. This is lie. Do not believe in this. Just check what you eat and take dumbbells and bands. That's it. No shortcuts. Life is no shortcut. We must struggle. But if we persist, we can reach our goals. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments, please send me. And of course, follow Vessels. There are so many interesting things on our platform. Goodbye.